Only on 11 Alive, a legally blind woman says she was denied service at a Douglasville restaurant because of her guide dog. She spoke exclusively with our Paula Soro tonight, who found out this restaurant seems to have a history of similar incidents. Let's go, Finn. Forward. Good boy. Terry Tidwell relies on her guide dog, Finnegan, to go everywhere. Go left, find the curb. She's legally blind with a genetic condition called retinous pigmentosa. Legally blind is about down to 30 degrees, and she sees about like this. He keeps me from running into things, falling over things. On Wednesday, Terry, her husband Jeff, and Finnegan tried walking into the El Don Tequilas restaurant in Douglasville. A man walked out and, according to Douglasville police, told them it was a health violation to have a dog at the restaurant. Then they heard the door lock. And I was just, like, shaking inside because I was, like, so upset. We were kind of in shock. Terry and Jeff then called police and an officer responded. According to the report, the officer said it was a civil matter. She said she does not take sides and that it's up to each and every business establishment if they allow you in or not. Georgia Code reads that accommodations must be made for people with visual disabilities and that they have the right to be accompanied by a guide dog. According to President of Advocates for Service Animal Partners, those violating the law could be fined $2,000 and or go to jail for 30 days. The biggest challenge we face in, in getting these laws enforced is the ignorance of law enforcement. The Douglasville Police Department tells 11 Alive that the officer was unaware of the statute and it is now taking steps to educate restaurant staff as well as its officers to make sure this doesn't happen again. I don't think they're gonna help you. We tried getting a hold of the restaurant. Anyone who could speak. Wrong number. No, no, no. Uh, wrong number. No. Don't, don't call me no more, please. No, no, no. I'm looking for El Don Tequila. It was the right oh. number, and they would not pick up again. According to its Facebook reviews in 2020, staff denied entry to a disabled veteran with a service animal. I probably get three to five calls like this a week. Restaurants are one of the biggest offenders. Something has to change. 